Hello, Philip Dolly here with Sunny Soul Machines. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick uh, programming session. So when you guys get attacker, uh, if you need to do any other programs or patterns on there, you can very easily do it with this uh, control panel here in the programmer. So uh, just to give you a, a heads up, normally when I do a pattern, as you can see here, I like to map up all my uh, points. That way when you get to the machine, it's very easy to start and end the program within minutes. So once you have everything mapped out, you know exactly where your points are, where it changes direction, how wide the, the W stitching is and all that. So I think that's very, very important to do. You don't have to do it, but that's just the way, the way I thought uh, it's uh, easier to do a, a pattern on there. So anyways, let's get going. From the blue screen, uh, we're going to push this button here. It's going to take us to the orange screen. To enter the programming, we're going to end, uh, push this button here, followed by this button up here. It's going to ask you whether to add a new pattern, say yes or push enter key. All right, now it's going to set it up. Uh, the first thing we want to do is jog to the place where we want to put a stitching. So right here I have it at uh, negative 27 on the X, 15 on the Y, but I want to add two extra stitches before we start almost like a like a beginning back tack. <clears throat> um, so we're going to go to negative 22 and then positive 15. So you're going to push the jaw command here, and that jaw command basically takes you to a point without doing any stitching. It's just running it up there to the first point where you want to start a pattern. So we're going to click that, confirm that that's what we want to do. Now we're going to use these keys to navigate to it. So I'm going to go to, what did I say, negative 22 on the X and 15 on the Y. So we can use this button for now. Scroll down a little bit to 15, and that's going to show you your Y position and your X position up here. So we're going to go with said negative 22. There it is, negative 22.00, 15.00. We're going to click point and then enter. So now, now it puts us to where our first point is going to be without making any stitches. Now we're going to start entering stitches. We're going to push on this button right here. It's going to ask us the stitch length. We're going to click on that and we're going to put two five. 2.5 millimeters for each stitch. The speed is going to be 2700. We can leave it like that because you can still control the, the speed as you're running it. So we're going to leave it there. So now, now we got a stitch link set and everything else. Now we're ready to put the stitches in. First, we're going to push this button here that tells us where to put the first stitch. Now I'm going to go to negative 2715. Right there, negative 2715, put the point. Now I'm going to do the perimeter first. I like to lock everything in as a perimeter. Then we're going to do the, the W stitches or whatever we need to do in the middle of it. So now I'm going to go all the way to 2915. And you can see that blue cursor moving as you're moving it. And I'm going to read here where I'm at and where I need to go. So negative, I mean uh, 2915 point there, come back down to 29, negative 15, there, now I'm going to go to negative 27, negative 15, there, Close this thing up. There. Now we have in your pattern have a, a two millimeter wide line. So I'm gonna go to negative 25, which is 27 minus 2 is 25 on the millimeter. Click there. I'm gonna come down. Now we're going to start doing the W stitches. And like I said, I have I have all my points mapped out where those W stitches are going to end.
okay so that's one side of the w stitches now i'm going to go back over here and i'm going to do the other side of it or part of it and uh, i double clicked on the on setting the point so it tells you hey you already clicked it and by the way it's very important to make sure when you when you come to the the end point that you click that button because a lot of times i i do all this stuff and i forget to click a button and it just bypasses it all the way so very important to click a button so now i'm going to go to this starting point here on the left side of the pattern there now we're going to do the other part of it Okay, so we're done with all the W stitches. Now I'm gonna go back up because we need two lines on the right side of it from the from the example pattern that you sent me on the samples. And there, I'm gonna go two millimeters to the right. There, come back. there and then I'm gonna backtrack it to maybe about three stitches or so to the left just to close in the the stitches so it doesn't leave an open end so I'm gonna go here by right there done so now once I push this button the machine will go ahead and do the track and so you can look at it see how everything looks Okay, now that it's done that, last thing we're going to do, it's uh, when we're happy with everything, we don't have to redo or change anything, you see the, the button right there that has the scissors on there, that's basically to tell the machine to cut the thread right there, so the last point, cut the thread, uh, perf performation confirmed, yes, okay, so boom, that's it, now we're going to save it by pushing that button and it's going to say we'll save it as 102 if you already have an existing pattern in there which I had with a smaller stitching but I'm doing this one for you with a little bigger stitching uh, it's asking you to override the old pattern number yes there it is and uh, once that's done we can go ahead and either push the test button test it from the programming mode or I think I'm, I'm pretty cool with the pattern so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit from here. Whether to return to sewing mode, yes. Okay, there's that new pattern. Now we're gonna click on the blue button. The blue screen basically says that it is ready to sew. And so, just for testing purposes, I'm going to uh, use this, uh, it, this is not your webbing, but let's say I wanna test it on this. Okay, 
back over here you're going to have the speed I'm going to leave it at 800 for now you can go faster if you want to or slower if you want to but let's leave it at 800 I'm adjust the camera here for you real quick okay let's see what we got so right side of the pedal clamp up the clamp down okay so clamp it down and then left side of the pedal is to cycle it That's it. That's that pattern. Earlier I did the bigger one for you, on the, but I'll do it on your webbing in just a little bit. And that's the smaller one. I know one of, one of many, but I'll show you a couple more of them.